start by recalling a few facts from, from last lecture. So um, much of what I have uh, said in the last lecture can be uh, summarized uh, in the following uh, diagram. So we have, uh, so there exists, th there is a certain uh, two factor which I denoted by make a uh, circle regular singular composed with n plus that uh, so this is a two functor which is defined on a category which is itself uh, a, a grotendic construction uh, of uh, so well so over the category of uh, smooth regularly stratified uh, schemes and this is uh, somehow we integrate the functor to such a thing. Uh, what? Rs. Uh, right, so, um, so it's integration of uh, flags uh, on, on, on smooth, uh, regularly certified schemes. I, I maybe say a bit more about this, but. Uh, and so it's it's a two functor that goes to categories, basically. Um, uh, and in fact, it, it factors uh, like this. So it's by, by construction, it is uh, a composition of a functor with a two functor. So this is, uh, yeah. So the, the functor goes to uh, to to the category of uh, whose objects are again the same here, essentially a smooth and regularly certified scheme, but the morphism are slightly different. So, so we, we are, we allow here, so we take here tangential morphism, um, it's all over K. Uh, okay, so this is this composition. This is here the, the functor M plus. Um, and this is, uh, s uh, this is simply the functor MIC circle. Regular singular. So here it's just uh, the, this is a very simple function. It takes uh, a smooth, uh, regularly satisfied uh, scheme to module with integral connection over the open strata uh, with regular singularities. And this is something which takes uh, a pair consisting of uh, an object here and a flag to something which, which I denote by M plus xd, which is basically uh, the normal cone uh, of the small strata in D with respect to the closure of the larger strata, essentially. Okay, so, so this is uh, this diagram that I, I uh, essentially I, I constructed uh, in the last lecture. But I'll keep it for a small moment here, but uh, on, on this blackboard. So. Uh, and I, I gave a first use of this thing to, to, to define, uh, um, to, to write down a complex which will be quasi isomorphic to the Duram complex. I, I also recall this very quickly. So, um, right, so we, we started, so we, we, we start with a very simple object. So we start with the, uh, with the unit. So if I call one, so this is uh, I, I think about this as so that, that, that we consider so considered as uh, a flaggy resheaf on <coughs> smooth stratified schemes with values. in this two functor. Okay, so it's very simple. To, to, a, to a pair like this, xd, I just look at the unit uh, object in the category which I get by applying this two functor. This is, this is a pre-sheaf, uh, and I call it one. So, and from, from this, we, 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 we can do some construction. So for example, we can look at an injective resolution and then apply uh, the, the global section functor of uh, modulus with, inter with integrable connection. So we get this R gamma delta on one. 
Okay, so this and this is now uh, this is is a complex. Okay, so it's a unit object in in the category of flag appreciative on so its values in on this category with or if you prefer appreciative on this integral. Okay, so whenever I have a two functor on on some on some category. I can speak about appreciative with value in this two functor. So it's like, okay, so. Uh -huh. okay. In other words, you, you, you a two factor into categories, you mean? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. So I have a two functor into categories, and for every object, I, I pick an object in the image of the, okay, so contra it's contravariant, contra -variant, yes. This is contravariant, yes. And it ah, okay. okay, so I, I pick the unit object everywhere, but then I can I, I resolve this in a coherent way, and I get so this this will be a, another uh, sorry the, the the yeah. So if, if I I can take a, an injective resolution, and this will be an, another object of the same kind. Okay, so again, it's a pre-sheaf on this integral. Uh, with value in, in there, and then, then I apply to this the gamma delta, which to a module with integrable connection give me the constant sections, and this will will be a complex of flaggy pre-sheaves. Oh, yeah, pre -sheaves on again smooth stratified schemes. Okay, and then uh, to this I can. Uh, I can uh, somehow get rid of this flaggy by applying this Godman construction. Okay, so, now this is something more familiar. Maybe it's just a pre sheaf on this category. I can also make this guy uh, H vibrant. Okay, and now it's, it's um, uh, I can think about this as a pre sheaf. On smooth varieties. Okay, so from from this uh, maybe simple but somehow uh, complicated uh, object, uh, I can do some construction and I get just a, a complex of pre sheaves on on smooth varieties. So if I want to be precise, I would I, I would I should apply here this functor C O lower star. But, uh, if you remember, this is uh, this is this morphism of sight. But I, I'll just to simplify notation, I will uh, remove this. Okay, so I, I, I there, there is this equivalence of topos between the H site on smooth varieties and the H site on smooth uh, stratified varieties, and we know that this is an equivalence of topos. And so I, I will just to simplify notation. I will I will not write it. Uh, into the, okay, and so this is, there was this uh, theorem that I, I proved last time that this is. Uh, Quasi isomorphic to the Durham complex. Okay, so this is what I, I explained last time. All right, so I, I want to to use this uh, to, um, to illustrate uh, um, what what somehow what what is uh, the, the the goal of this of this consideration. Uh, so I, I want to use this to prove the following uh, proposition. So I can say the following: uh, Assume that K is algebraically closed. Then there exists a morphism of algebras in the effective. Et al. K. K. That goes from the Durham complex to the constant uh, pre-sheaf uh, with value K. 
and so in particular, so as a consequence, or in particular. <coughs> so what did you write uh, in the first line, the letter before the parentheses? What is it? Here. Yes. So this was. This was this C all our star, which is this uh, equivalence of sight for the H topology. And I, I will not write it anymore. I just to simplify notation, I'll. A comp course. This is the course. C, CO is for the course stratification. What is what? Complex of pre sheaves OK. So now I'm, I'm proving the following proposition. So I assume that k is algebraically closed. I am saying that there is a morphism of algebras from this complex, the RAM complex, to the constant uh, pre sheave with value k. And so in particular, we can easily compute the homotopy limit of of the Durham complex. Uh, so this is this will be isomorphic to K. Okay. okay so in the in the effective se uh, setting, the this, this is the analogous maybe statement of the main conjecture. It is uh, easy and and one can prove it. Okay, so I I want to illustrate. So I, I want to to use this. Uh, this new model um, uh, for omega to prove this proposition. There is there are there are different ways to do this, but I will I will just illustrate the use of this new model. I will I will use it for this proposition. Okay, so here's how it works. So uh, I want to do one, one thing here. So uh, so I I, 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 was, I have been working with modulus integral by connection, but in fact uh, one can replace this by any good notion of, of local system in algebraic geometry. And so in particular, I, 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 can, uh, I can use uh, uh, mm, a variation of, uh, of, Hodge mod of, of, mod of mixed, horse, mixed horse, horse structure, uh, VMH. Uh, so let, let me maybe explain this. So uh, for this, we, we need to fix, so I, I fix an embedding into uh, the complex number and uh, so for for x smooth I denote by variation of mixed horse structure of x this is uh, of course uh, the again end uh, object or end uh, admissible variations of mixed structure on X. So the notion of variation of mixed or structure, first of all, for pure whole structure, is it polarizable? Yes, yes, graded polar. So I want graded polar, graded polarizable. Pol Conditions that one imposes? Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you put all the, the, strongest, the strongest possible condition. Um, so what reference is there for? So I, I, I had I had hard time to find references for this. Uh, there is a, the there is a, the, the paper of Saito on mixed horse module where, where you where this where things are done in more generalities and, and, and it would, that would apply. So if you want, you can also take this to be the the, the least object in, uh, in the category of mixed horse modules as a definition for this. But I think that maybe the, the usual reference is maybe the paper of uh, of Zucker and I don't remember. Anyway, it's, it's not very. It's, it won't be very important. I mean, the precise definition won't be very important for us. So I, I, I want also on on X C on the on the on X on X extended to the to the complex numbers. Yeah. Okay. So right. So, but I, I so I, I would also like to put a plus uh, a case structure. <coughs> It's not again. It's not very important. We can just walk over the complex number, but but uh, I think it's yeah maybe nicer to 
Yes, on the connection. So I, I want the connection to be defined on x, not on xc and only. The weight yes, weight filtration. The weight filtration and the, and the connection are, are defined. Huh? And those filtration. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, all right. So, so this is uh, for x, and, and again, then uh, if x is in is a strati is stratified, <coughs> as usual, I'll denote uh, <coughs> this to be the same thing, but for x circ. <coughs> Okay, and, and this, this, this that is also a, a good functor of uh, nearby o of limiting uh, along a strata, and so, so one can define in the same manner <coughs> a two functor like this. And uh, and there is uh, and there is a natural transformation between these two things, which uh, which is uh, I call F Duram is uh, like a, a Duram fiber functor maybe or uh, or Duram component. <coughs> Um, there is also an analog of uh, of the gamma, del gamma delta. <coughs> so we have, so I denote by gamma delta, and I put uh, M H here for mixed Hodge. So the analogous uh, functor is the thing that go from B M H uh, something <coughs> to uh, mixed Hodge structure. Again, this is really in. Uh, and plus a k structure. Okay, and uh, so this is again, it's just uh, the global <coughs> section functor, or if you want horizontal sections, horizontal, horizontal global sections. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, so of course we have a commutative. Square like this, and here it's really a, a fiber functor. Okay, so so with this in hand, we can uh, argue as follows. So try to. So the, the idea is that you, you can uh, <coughs> you can write down this, this similar object there, but uh, in uh, but um, in the in the in the context of ho of hot structure. Okay, so I, I can consider uh, the same object. So the, the gamma of uh, r gamma delta mix. And now I take one, but but really now the, it's the object uh, in. Uh, so it's, uh, let me write it like this. So the unit object, but <coughs> in in this in, in the uh, with value in this two functor here, not not, not that one. Uh, okay, so I can also pass to the to a fiber replacement. Okay, so this is just really the analog of the of, that, of the previous thing. So what 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 is this really? This is. Uh, this is a complex of pre sheaves on smooth varieties with values in uh, mixer structure. Okay, so simply because th th this guy takes value in mixer structure and and so uh, a claim is that so if you apply uh, f the ram to that thing you get back the the thing that i, uh, I was considering pr previously so this is maybe I'll just write it again what is yeah mod k is uh, yeah k vector spaces Okay, so so uh, so th this is compatible with the previous one uh, via the f the, the fiber functor f dura. So this is not completely obvious, but uh, in fact, this is really 
uh, yeah, it's, it's a quasi-isomorphism. So they're not the same, really. Uh, um, um, but somehow, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to say more about this. OK, so um, right. So, but once we have this, it's, it's not difficult to conclude. So here's how, how the proof continues. So, um, so now, now look, uh, now co consider a, a different, consider another fiber functor on a mixed source structure, namely uh, the one that you obtain by uh, taking F the but first uh, applying uh, the, the, gra the, gra the graded, the, the graduation with respect to the weight filtration. Okay, so. And, and forgetting about the grading afterward. Okay, so, so you have the weight filtration, you, you pass with the graded object, you forget the grading, you apply F the RAM, and then you get a vector space. And so this is, an, this is a, also a fiber functor um, on uh, mixed host structure. And uh, in fact, we know that, uh, so since, so since uh, since k is algebraically closed, we know that there is an isomorphism like this with with the with the previous fiber functor. This is uh, a non-canonical isomorphism, <coughs> non-canonical but functorial. But functorial isomorphism, which is also uh, mono, uh, yeah, so compatible with, with the tensor structure. Okay, and so uh, as a consequence of this, we see that. Uh, okay. Okay, so, uh, as a consequence of what I've just done, so we, we see that that the the RAM complex, which is <coughs> which is isomorphic to uh, F the RAM of this guy, is also is isomorphic to F the RAM composed with Gru, so weight filtration of uh, what comes afterwards, namely, so uh, this next watch, one watch, and a fiber replacement. Okay, and so. What I can do then is to uh, project to uh, um, the sorry the grow zero part um, and uh, and in fact it's not difficult to see that in fact that I can uh, even uh, put this inside. So let, let me, okay, so this is the same, but then it's not difficult to see that, that somehow the, this commute with, uh, sorry, with passing to the H fine replacement and with passing to, to the uh, Godemont complex. So I can do it like this. So I can take the Godemont complex or F the R grow W zero, R gamma delta mix such structure one hodge okay um, vibrant okay. and now we are done because uh, so here, here's a claim uh, the um, okay so f the ram composed with grow w0 of r gamma delta H one Hodge. This is just a complicated uh, symbol for uh, for the constant chief K constant. So maybe I just uh, explain quickly what's happening here. So uh, so we can, you should, should think about this uh, R gamma delta. So if 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 you evaluate this um, 
So maybe, yes, this is an equality of flag depletion, of flag depletion. So, yeah, so if you evaluate this on, on, on one object, you are looking at the cohomology of some variety, uh, something like a normal cone, open, uh, open uh, strata of a normal cone. But, it, but still, it's, it's, it's the cohomology of a smooth variety. And we are taking its grow zero, and it's well known that so it, it's a smooth connected variety. Uh, the grow zero will be uh, essentially k, which will, will be always k, will be the h zero. Okay. So th there is maybe a small issue here because our varieties are maybe not defined over k, but I, but I assume that that k is algebraically closed, so there should be no issue here. Okay. So k is algebraically closed. All my varieties are, are connected, um, and so yeah. So it's really an equality uh, isomorphism on the nose, okay? Um, and then with this, we, we see that, that if, I, if I replace this object by k, uh, this, again, this is also k constant, but now as a, uh, as a pre sheaf on smooth varieties. Okay, so this gives, uh, this, gives this, uh, this map here. All right, so this was uh, maybe just to, uh, to give you a, an idea of what, what I'm tr am I trying to do here. So somehow, the, yeah, the, the, the goal of this is to try to, <coughs> uh, to extend this, this um, Hodge theoretic argument uh, to, uh, to the stable situation, to, to apply this to the T-spectrum to the that represent the Ramp cohomology. So, um, yeah. all right. So, so I, I said what I wanted to say about the first uh, the first new model for uh, for for omega. Now I want to start discussing the the construction of the second new model. <coughs> so I remind I, I remind you that I, I will introduce three. Models for uh, for the drum complex or for the drum spectrum, and I did so. The first one was the one I just used in this uh, small proof, and then I will introduce a second one, and then a third one maybe uh, in, the, in the fourth lecture. And so to, int to introduce uh, the second one, I need first to uh, to discuss uh, the notion of P1 delta localization. So I, so this morning I was, okay, I was, I, I gave a talk about the P1 localization. This is slightly different. There is a delta here, uh, but it's it's very much related uh, to, to, the, to what I was discussing. But um, I'll try not, not not to assume that you have been uh, that that you have he heard me this morning. So I tried quickly to 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 introduce this. Um, Right, so, so, I, so this, this is, uh, um, I think the, the, the most nat natural context to, th context to speak about this is the context of foliation. So I, I quickly introduce or, or remind you what is foliation. So, so a K foliation uh, like XF, this is a triple. So where x is a scheme, uh, omega xf is an OX module, and df a derivation 
with, with value in, in this guy. And uh, there are two conditions. So that there is the so the derivation would give me a, a morphism, an all linear morphism like this. And I ask this to be surjective. And the second condition is that I, I want uh, a Durham complex, essentially. So I, I want that there, there is a way to go from, uh, so maybe let me put one here. Because it's a bit confusing, so so I want to go to be able to go from one from omega one to omega two xf. So this is of course the wedge of omega one. Uh, so there exists such a thing uh, compatible with the usual Durham differential. Okay, so. Simply in the sense that if you put here omega x over k, omega squared x over k, and th this is the usual Durham complex, this is commutative. Okay, so very sim very simple conditions. Um, okay, so th that is an obvious notion of morphisms. So I don't want to spell this out. Uh, there is uh, so uh, there, there are two other notions that I will maybe use today is the notion of uh, being diff smooth uh, for for foliation. This is uh, asking that this sheaf is locally free of finite rank. And there is a notion of uh, diff etal morphism. So you can have a non diff smooth correlation? <coughs> By definition, yes. Ah, so you need this quotient coherent sheet? Yeah, which is not locally free. I mean, I, I take any singular variety and take its omega. Do, do not change it. This is a foliation which is singular, which is not local. No, but there's a smooth variety. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can, I mean, th there is a, no, yeah, you can put singular foliation on smooth varieties. Ah, for example, the relative omega 1 relative to amorphism. For example, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Right, so uh, the diff etal morphism, this is a morphism of foliation uh, such that the induced map. is an isomorphism. And uh, maybe the last thing I want to say here is that there is, a, of course, a Durham complex. So uh, not necessarily, no. Yeah. It may be, yeah, it's maybe better to do this, but be, but it's not necessary to, to do. Okay, so the remark is that uh, again, maybe in, in the only in the diff smooth case, it's no, but this, this is true in general. So uh, omega dot. So there is there is a Durham complex. So it exists and is a quotient and it is a quotient of the usual one. And in, in the case where uh, where x is diff smooth, it's uh, I, I define the Durham cohomology as the Zariski cohomology of x with value in this complex. And another remark is that, uh, so uh, the Durham complex that I was considering before, uh, as well as the Durham uh, spectrum, both extend naturally, extend naturally uh, to the category uh, SM4 of 
smooth foliation. Now the okay so the uh, right let, let let me give some examples of foliation that, that I will need today. So so uh, example of foliation. Uh, so there are very simple ones. For example, if you take uh, X any scheme, uh, I denote by X delta. This is the discrete foliation on, on X. So uh, namely, uh, this is a triple X zero zero. If X is smooth, but not necessarily. I was, uh, there is also uh, I denote also by x the this is uh, the the coarse foliation on x and in the sense that I do I do not change the the sheaf of Keller differentials same same omega and then um, slightly more interestingly is the, the following uh, object so um, I, I denote by x so this is the spectrum. Kt e minus one um, with omega x is given by uh, omega this guy so k t e e minus one or k uh, modulo the following relation t t t minus e minus one d e. so it's a uh, it's a rank one uh, quotient on X, and this defines the foliation. Um, um, so yeah, by the way, there, there are maps here to A1 and to A1 minus 0. Um, and both are diff eta. OK, and uh, what will be? Uh, what I will need today is uh, a compactification of this thing. So uh, one can define a compactification x bar, so contains x, wh which is uh, which correspond. Uh, um, so if, if this is a one times a one minus zero, and this would be a one times p one. So I, I, I tell you quickly how this is obtained. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, the idea is that this, this differential equation can be written in two ways. You can write it uh, either as e dt minus dE or e minus one dt plus dE minus one. Okay. And when you do this, uh, so both, th so th th there's no more de denominator in some sense. And uh, so this defines uh, foliation on, uh, on KTE and so this one here and one on K on the spectrum of, of these rings. And then you can glue them together and, and obtain this guy. Okay, so these are examples, simple examples of foliation. Um, So uh, th th there are also uh, <coughs> there are all obvious map um, to any one. Um, to P one, um, and th this is again this et al, but this is not diff et al. Uh, and so here th the fibers. On close point, over close point here, uh, over close point, 
are just isomorphic to the discrete uh, P1. Okay, so we can think about this as some kind of a local system with fibers P1. Okay, so with this I can now state the following uh, observation, which is somehow uh, yeah, this is what is be behind this uh, notion of P1 delta local. So here's <coughs> proposition. Sorry? What's the high at infinity? Here or here? Ah, oh, here, at infinity. Uh, it's, it's a copy of A1. So at infinity and zero, uh, you have uh, two copies of A1. A1 with a coarse. Uh, with the with, uh, uh, with coarse foliation, yes. OK, so here's a proposition. Uh, so the Durham cohomology of foliation uh, is P1 delta local in the following sense. Uh, so I, I maybe I give you the, the directly the, the strong sense. So, uh, so for all morphism, so given a foliation x and f, and, and given a morphism to a one, the induced map in the Ram cohomology. So in particular, also, uh, uh, if you uh, so the cohomology of xf is the same as the cohomology of xf times p1 delta. Okay, so you, in particular case, if you take f for example the zero map, we get also p1 delta invariance in the usual sense. Okay, so uh, just uh, a word on the proof. It's, it's very simple, really. So it's uh, so the idea is that. Uh, is, is to use the fact that that this x bar to p to a one is uh, some kind of a local system of p one deltas, and then uh, so this this reduces the case of showing that uh, the cohomology of of x is the same as the cohomology. xf times p1. But then there is a Kunit formula in this context, and, uh, and the, the drum cohomology of p1 is just its uh, coherent cohomology. Then you use the Kunit formula and the fact that the drum cohomology of p1 delta, this is just coherent cohomology of p1 delta was of P1 with, with, with O, which is just K in degrees. So P1 delta is the, the foliation? It's a discrete foliation, yes. Yeah. So the, the omega is 0, and then the, the Ram complex has only one term, O. And okay. Can erase this also. So, so another uh, fact uh, related to 
So this uh, localization is as follows. But maybe before I need to uh, to tell you what is the P1 localization. So uh, this is maybe uh, kind of informal. I don't know. I, I don't want to, at least for the moment, to to give a precise uh, definition. So, so the, the the P1 delta localization. Um, uh, of a complex of precious F or K or L on smooth foliation so is uh, the operation. Of uh, enforcing uh, the conclusion of the conclusion of the previous uh, proposition. Okay, so uh, it's a it's a way of transforming a, a complex appreciate L into one which has uh, for which this. Um, this proposition holds. Okay, so, and so this this functor is denoted by a log uh, maybe p one delta of f. Okay, so the hypercohomology for for a fixed topology, the hyper the hypercohomology uh, with value in in this complex has the same property as the Durham cohomology. Okay, so with this, I can state the following uh, theorem, which is uh, somehow be behind the, the second model that I will introduce. So, uh, okay, so uh, here we, we work uh, on this uh, site, smooth foliation, with the et al topology. I did not maybe say what was the tal topology, but uh, I'm, I don't think it's maybe it's more or less clear what it means uh, to have an tal cover in this foliation. So, okay, so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, for a tal cover, is a tal cover of the skin itself or something? Yes, just just that. Just tal on the quotient space, a tal on the yes, yes, so, uh, of the, to the total space. So if you forget about the if you forget about the foliation, it's an entire morphism. And the foliation uh, of the target is induced from the foliation on the, on the. All right, so, uh, so we have, so, so the obvious morphism of T spectra um, from the infinite suspension spectrum on the, on the Durham complex to uh, to the uh, to the Durham T spectrum, uh, say uh, exhibits on a Gandhian line as the level-wise. P1 delta localization of sigma t infinity. Oh. Okay, so said differently, if I uh, if I try to impose uh, <coughs> these properties that I uh, that are there. These omegas are already the extension to foliation. Yes, so I, I said so it's it's going it's happening here, so it's it's already the extension, yeah. Okay, so if I if I if I try to impose uh, these properties uh, level-wise on this T spectrum, I just get this this one here. So, uh, okay. so at least 
the first time I, I, I saw this, I, I understood this, I was kind of surprised. Now it's maybe I'm a bit less surprised, but uh, I still think it's, uh, it's a nice statement. Um, Okay, so, uh, so uh, once said differently, um, so the the, the RAM complex that, that we, we care about, this is the RAM, uh, this is the RAM um, spectrum that we are trying to understand, uh, is uh, given by uh, applying this localization functor. Uh, level-wise on uh, the infinite suspension spectrum, which we should consider as being something much much simpler than, than, than this one. For, for some, okay. So, and, and this is really a level-wise uh, quasi-isomorphism. So it's really a very strong. Right. So the, the new model uh, for omega is, as I said, somehow uh, is a consequence of this formula and some uh, some computations. So. Um, and this, this, so this is completely false if you do it for the usual the RAM. For the usual the RAM? Yes, on by this no foliation. It doesn't make sense. I mean, it's just it's not false. It doesn't make sense. Well, you, you do a a one localization. Yeah, no, no, yeah, if you want, if you replace P1 delta by A1, it's not true, yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah, this is completely false. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, in some sense, there is also something somewhere hidden here. I, I didn't, I didn't really tell you what, what was this functor, so, but you also need to make an A1 localization here. So, yeah, it's in fact, you localize both for A1 and for P1 delta. All right, so, um, right, so now I am uh, maybe in good shape in introducing this new model. So the second, <coughs> second. You put log A1. Yeah, so I mean, I did not tell you what was log P1 very precisely. Uh, and for, for this formula to be correct, I really need to, to localize for also for A1. So the, I need to, to, to take an A1 and P1 fibrant replacement. Bo both should, should be. So I, I should impose both properties, A1 invariance and P1 invariance, P1 delta invariance, okay, for, for this to be true. Ah, okay, so you have to compose in some order the two. You have to, 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 to yeah, if you want compose in some order. It does matter a lot, of course. I mean, you have to, to do it in all orders. I mean, it it, you sh it should be done uh, simultaneously. So, um, ah, not the, the last two, one and no, the not one and the other. Yeah. It's really both of them. Ah, so it's more than doing one and that. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the composition. It's just. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I don't know how to call it. So it's not exactly what you have written. No, it's not exactly. <laughs> uh, maybe it's better to put an A one here to say that it's both. <coughs> is it like obtained by t doing them in an alternate order? You can, yeah, for example, you can do it like this. You can apply it in infinitely many times in, in, in all, one after the other. This would be, a, would be one, one, one way to do this, yeah. All right, so, uh, all right, so the second new model for, uh, for this, for the drama. So now we are really, uh, we will be really 
giving models for the Duran spectrum, not, not the complex anymore. <coughs> uh, so, maybe just, so the idea, as I said, this is obtained by, so this is obtained from, uh, from this formula, from star, by uh, a computation. Uh, which is somehow similar um, to, to, I mean, at least so some of the ingredients are similar to, to the proof I gave uh, last time, uh, showing that, th that this first model I introduced was, uh, was really a model for the Durham complex. So we will see again the same uh, somehow machinery of uh, uh, stratification, um, flags, and so on, that, that will, will appear in, in the outcome. Um, and of course, so it, this this new model will, will rely at a concrete um, or a, a explicit uh, uh, understanding of this P1 delta localization. So I, I really need uh, a, a way to write to be able to write down this localization, which is uh, in the same spirit as this, uh, somehow the susin volvosky complex. And this is in fact uh, quite complicated to, to write down. So. What I will do, I will, uh, I will use this somehow in, as a black box. I will not tell you, uh, I, I will not give you an explicit complex which compute this, this localization. I will just assume that there is such a thing and somehow give you just uh, a good way of thinking about it. Okay, so I, I try to write some, some words now. So as a, as a fact uh, or a black box. I think. Okay, so as for as for the A one localization and the associated Susin Volvosky complex, Volvosky construction. So that is. Uh, um, okay, maybe the, the, the P1 delta localization. And to be really uh, honest here, I should say a variant of this. A variant of uh, the P1 delta localization can be achieved by an, by an, explicit, by an explicit construction, by an explicit Function that I, I denote SGP1 delta for the moment because uh, I, I, I usually denote the Susin Boyevsky construction uh, by SGA1. So just to, to say it's a, that it is a similar construction. Uh, okay, so uh, I can apply it to a complex of pre and get one which is uh, P1 delta local. And that, but unfortunately, the, 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 this uh, construction is much more. Uh, involved than, than the than the Susin Volvosky construction, so I, I want to give you just uh, a way of thinking about it without too much really details. So, uh, so let's see. So th this Sg uh, p1 delta <coughs> of f uh, is built is built by an explicit um, homotopy collimate homotopy collimate construction uh, from from the following pieces. Okay, so the, the, the thing that, that contribute to the somatopy limit are, as in the Susin Volvosky uh, uh, case, it's, they are internal homes from so some kind of loop space <coughs> between, uh, so here instead of having just A1, so in the Susin Volvosky, I would just have this 
algebraic simplest. Here I have something more complicated, so but not so much more complicated a priori. So it's just this um, foliation I introduce x bar mm, over a one, and uh, I take some fiber product, so some, some power over a one. So this is just uh, essentially uh, p one to the r one over a one bundle of this. But then I, I, I need to take product of similar things. So my Rn. And then there is uh, just uh, an extra copy of, uh, of A1 minus 0. I, that, uh, sorry, of, of, yeah, maybe uh, so P1 to some power n. OK, and then uh, this is turn on home with my f so th these are the these are the wh wh what replaces uh, this in the susan gogoski setting okay so this is the analog of this um, so so these are integers which are varying so uh, n n vary r1 up to r1 r n vary m varies all these varying um, the, the gluing maps that that are needed to 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 do the somatopy collimit so the gluing maps are uh, induced from, uh, again, from simple operations. So from simple map are induced by simple maps. So all the maps that you can imagine, essentially, between these guys. So th th there are maps going, uh, so you have 0 infinity. Uh, from spec k to p1. Uh, so this will induce maps on this factor. Uh, that there are also zero infinity uh, from a1 to, uh, to x, x bar. So x bar uh, has two sections which are isomorphic to a1, uh, zero and infinity. Uh, there is also uh, two morphism from p1 delta to x. They correspond, so if this is a1, these are the fiber at 0 and 1, a1. And there are also so uh, partial, partial diagonals, partial diagonals, projection. And I think that's all. Okay, so so all, all these maps somehow uh, are used to, to build some, some big uh, diagram. And, and the homotopy element of this diagram will be computing this uh, P1 uh, delta localization. And so it, it, it's, it's really not useful to tell you what, 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 this, what this diagram is. is uh, I, I don't even have this in mind. It's, it's really quite uh, ugly. And in which sense it's a variant of? In the sense that it is, uh, so. There is there are similarities, right? So, uh, so so the susan volvaski construction is a homotopy limit, homotopy collimit. No, that is it the model for the actual. <coughs> what you call oh, why why it, why it's a variant of? Yeah, no, it's not really a model for that. It's not it's not a model for the p1 delta localization. It's something uh, weaker than. That. But I, I but I, it's something which I don't have any. Uh, good, uh, how to say, it, which ca I cannot characterize in a in a in a, in a useful in a useful way, except that it, it does w w when you apply it to. Okay, so I can tell you very quickly what how, what's going on here. So that is this th this theorem here, um, that which give you this formula. So and it has a proof, and uh, if you if you go go if you if you uh, look at this proof, you see that you don't need. Uh, all the properties, you, you don't need really that that, that, that that you are working with the localization, but but something weaker could uh, work enough also. And this something, and this weaker something somehow yield to this construction. It's I cannot really say more than this. But is it true that if you f is already p1 delta local in this construction, that yeah. change it? It doesn't change. Yeah, it it will not change. If you if you start with something which is uh, which is P1 delta local, it will not change by applying this construction. But the result 
is not a priori really P1 delta local. But each P1 delta localization is the P1 delta localization of the original. Is it true? So this is something in between, if you want. It, it's, it's, a, it's an approximation of the P1 delta localization. Yeah, and both this and the construction of the same P1 delta localization. Both this? So if you apply to F and apply this construction, SG P1 delta to F, yes. and you have a morphism from F to death. Yes. And after applying P1 delta yeah, localization, yeah. it's an isomorphism. It's an isomorphism. Yes. Ah, OK. <coughs> So it's, some, it's something in between. So if you, if you want, it's, it's, a, it's a good approximation of the P1 delta localization, w which has, uh, in, in, the con in the situation I'm interested in, has enough properties to, to imply this kind of theorem. OK? Is this, is this construction know, similar to something familiar like in the same way like Susli Moivoski is a similar homology? No. <laughs> no. But I don't know. So the, the, this means that this theorem has a version uh, uh, what did you say about this construction relative to the previous theorem? Okay, so if, if I, maybe I try to write it. So, so we, you have this guy, SG P1 delta, which is not really the localization. Okay. And it is, it somehow it sits in between. Um, it's in general there is no no, no reason to expect that uh, these are quasi isomorphic. But in the case I'm interested in, namely the the omega, the sigma. So if if this is f, then uh, it turns out that the last map is indeed an equivalence. And this is proven by, by somehow re reproving this theorem there for that guy here and showing that it's actually just the, the drum spectrum. Okay? Yeah. All right, so uh, maybe it's a, it's a good time for a break. I just uh, maybe try to finish what I was doing here. Right, so, so uh, maybe just a few, one notation that I will be using. So, uh, unfortunately, I will have to speak about this construction uh, in the remaining lecture, I mean, most of the remaining lectures. So, uh, um, so what, what I will, so I, I, I will use it as a blackboard. So, what I, wh whenever I want to, cons to, to use this construction, what I will do, I will essentially Okay, I, I need to, to, to say something, something more. Sorry about this. So, so, so maybe I take two blackboards before taking the break. Okay. All right. So so. I told, I told you that there is this construction, but in fact, this construction can be uh, even more abstracted as follow. So uh, maybe a remark. So um, yeah. So the, the combinatorics behind this uh, operation. Uh, can be abstracted as follow. Um, so when, whenever we have we have pieces or objects uh, P R M indexed by by a pair where r is uh, itself an n-tuple of integers uh, with with similar functionalities so 
more precisely, for every uh, for every map between two such uh, objects induced by one of these guys, uh, you, you have a map between these pieces, and th th they should be compatible, and, and so on. Um, so whenever we have a situation, we can build build, build uh, a, a new complex or a new object uh, by by a, by a homotopy colimit procedure. So we can build a whole colimit R M like this. Okay. So I, and I, I will be using this uh, many times. I will just somehow gi give you a description of these objects. And I just say, OK, I apply then the homotopy limit, and I get something, and this something has these properties. OK, I, I hope this will, be, uh, this will be OK. I think there is no, really no point in, in giving more details about, about this construction. OK, so uh, I think it's a good place to take a break. And then I, I will now I, I have, I think, almost everything to, to start defining this second model for, uh, for the drum spectrum. And um, yeah, I want now to start uh, describing this second new model. Second. And now it's really for the for the T spectrum omega. So uh, as I said, it will be mm, so, um, so this is uh, this new model I, I denote I will denote this by P uh, two. And uh, so it's a T spectrum, which will be uh, equivalent to omega. And it is given um, by this homotopy uh, uh, colimit that, that I described. Of uh, pieces which are denoted by P two R M, and again this will be T spectra on smooth varieties. Um, and so what I will do, I will uh, simply uh, describe this this. Object. Okay, so our goal is to, to tell you what are these so be before doing this I want to introduce a notation which is which I find convenient. It's maybe a bit weird, but I will uh, so since you see that, the, the, that there was P1 to the M which is uh, which, which appeared, and it's, it's maybe a bit too long to write p1 to the m. So uh, I will I will write uh, p for p1. I will I will use a different notation. I will I will call it e bar and b1, and then p1 to the n. This is m. This is e bar to the m, and I will also uh, write e1 for a1 minus 0. And uh, so the reason why, why I, I use this e is because in French there is this uh, word a pointe, uh, which means that you have removed a point. Um, okay, so I, I will be using this notation. I hope it's not too confusing. Um, all right, so, the, so uh, let, let us fix these uh, things. So remember, this is itself it's an R tuple of integers. Uh, I'll denote by by R this is uh, the sum of these integers, R1 plus up to Rn. So uh, I also denote by X bar R underline. This is uh, the thing that I appeared pre previously. So it's a Right, so we, we have uh, we have um, a map that I will denote by rho R M that goes from X bar R underline times 
e bar n uh, goes to e bar r plus n. Okay, so this is just projection on the on the p ones that we have. Um, and uh, I, so this is my row, and I will I call pi r n this map, the projection to the point. Okay, so I to do some notation. Makes this. All right. So okay, so with this, I, I can uh, now uh, write down p uh, p two r n. Except that I will not. I, w I haven't yet really defined all the terms. So I will spend some time to define the terms later. So it will be uh, given by a similar formula than, than the first model. So I will have uh, a Godman complex associated to um, some R gamma delta uh, applied to some uh, flaggy uh, pre-sheave with values in modulus integrable connection, which is now more complicated than just one. So, uh, but it's still actually not so complicated. I will, you will see it's rather a simple thing which depends on, uh, again, the parameters I have fixed. Uh, there's another uh, complication here that, uh, remember, I am, I am trying to define a spectrum. Uh, this will be only uh, um, a complex of pre-sheaves. And in fact, there will be some operation here, which, uh, which is essentially like a suspension, infinite suspension spectrum, but, but slightly different. So I put a tilde on it. So it's essentially that, and then of course you need to take an H fiber replacement, and then uh, you, you need to restrict to smooth varieties, which I will uh, remove from the notation. So this is this is uh, the except that not yet. And then there is a direct image along this map. Okay, so this guy, in fact, will live over. Uh, over e bar r plus m, and you need to push it forward to the point, and yeah, this, this will be this will be the spectrum. Okay, so I now I try to define the terms of these of this formula. So the, the most important thing is this n, um, and I need uh, I need to I need a, I need a lemma for that. Okay, so here's a lemma. Okay, so with the same notation here, so maybe maybe I put a delta. Sorry, I, I, I want to put a delta here. Okay, so let row R M as before. Okay, so this is a this is a morphism of foliation, if you want, and, and this is uh, with the um, with the coarse uh, structure, and this and I've told you there is a foliation structure on here, and this is a discrete one. Okay. Um, yeah. Let. So I, I will be I will be considering um, modules integrable connection, uh, not only regularly regularly singular, but even more restrictive. I will put log here. So this will be uh, those of log logarithmic type. So this is something really very simple. It's just essentially um, ten tensor power of of log algebras on. So you have a scheme, you, you pick a f an invertible function, you can add formally a, a, a logarithm of this, and uh, this gives you uh, some algebra in, in MIC. And uh, yeah, taking tensor power of such algebras uh, and some object, you get this category of logarithmic, of modules of logarithmic types. Do you, do you need me to say more about this, or it's, it's quite clear, I think? I suppose. Yes? <coughs> Yeah, there are unique. There are extension of trivial, of of, of rank one, uh, of trivial uh, module. Successive, uh, successive extension. Sorry. It's kind of a successive no, it's not the same. It's more 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 restrictive. You 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 might have more extension between one and one, which, which are not lo logarithmic, right? So, I mean, extension of one of one and one, they are they are, they are classified by, by the H one Duran, and I'm just looking at those which are in the image of the of the Delog map. In the image of the dialog map, everywhere or just generically or is this? Everywhere. Okay. On X. 
So you have O star X going to H1 Duram, and the image of this classify extension. Ah, uh, the global <coughs> yes. functions. Yeah, maybe if you can say more. Should I say more? Oh, OK. It's, I mean, so an object here is a, a sub quotient. of uh, things like, like that. So uh, you take uh, OX uh, and ln uh, U with U in O star, O star X. And do you take all the direct sum of finally many such things? Yes, uh, direct sum plus. OK. So the log, al log algebras. Uh, right. Um, yeah, these are two functor of uh, module with integrable connection of log type. OK, so. Uh, so then there exists a unique up to isomorphism uh, object uh, LRM that lives in this MIC. Uh, two limit, the two. Sorry? <coughs> there is a unique, no, oh, the two functor of just, I mean, just, okay, I don't know. Uh, just uh, let this what I wanted. Okay? Wanted to make a phrase, but limit of such inductive when you when you consider uh, as before, sometimes you took not only Raphael rank systems, but yeah, yeah. I mean, these got these are already uh, of uh, infinite rank, ah, and, you take and I take direct sum, uh, arbitrary direct sum. So, yeah, oh, okay. Any kind of right, so there is an object in uh, this guy. Uh, uh, e, E, R, ah, I, I think I, I made, um, I made her, an, uh, so I, I don't want to take this as before, I want to take the open one, so not as before, but it's, it's uh, the map that goes from the uh, X without a bar, and E without a bar, Okay, so I just, um, if you want the, the induced map on open strata here. Okay, so there exists an, a unique. Uh, so this one is Diffeta. Sorry? Is this one Diffeta? Yeah, that one is Diffeta. And in fact, uh, no, that not, um, not that one, yeah. That one is Diffeta, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I mean, not, not, not really, sorry, because of this delta. Okay, so if, if, if M is zero, it is Diffeta, but otherwise. Okay, so there is a such a thing, and a natural isomorphism like this. So between uh, so the gamma delta of uh, So the functor that that that, that uh, takes um, a model uh, uh, with integral connection of logarithmic type tensors this with, guy, with this guy, and then take the uh, constant sections. This this is uh, as a functor, it's isomorphic to uh, this thing that we get by taking by first pulling back And then taking a global section with respect to this uh, foliation. Okay, so the, the functor that, that, that takes a, mo a module of logarithmic type uh, uh, take its pullback to x uh, r times e m delta and take the global section is kind of represented by by this object. So this is a really uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, very simple uh, 
proof. Um, so I, I will not maybe give the proof uh, in general, but I, I just I just do two, two cases for you, and uh, so case is one is uh, when we only have uh, um, uh, e1 delta going to delta, going to e1. Okay, so this is a case where uh, where, the, uh, the where n is zero, so that there's no r on the line, and m is equal to one. Well, I don't understand the statement. There exists a unique, unique such that n a natural isomorphism. So then a unique pair, if you want, up to isomorphism consisting of an object and a natural isomorphism like this. So it's like, like I'm saying that this guy represents this functor here. So I have this functor, and I want to rep um, co-represent, I don't know, it's some kind of rep representability. No, but you put the same LRM on both sides. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. OK, I want to discuss so just two cases just to, to give you an idea that, uh, in fact, this, is, uh, this LRM is essentially uh, a logarithmic uh, al algebra up to some up to constant. Um, OK, so what is, so what happened in this case? Uh, so remember, this is spec e, e minus 1. And I, I can tell you, so I, it's, it's really an easy exercise. So I, I just give you a formula for this guy and maybe leave it for you to, to check that it's for. So this is given like this. E, so it's a, it's an, it's a module over this uh, ring and the, and the connection. Okay. So what you do, you add two extra uh, element um, and a logarithm. Of e prime. Okay, so, with the obvious uh, derivation law, so uh, for example, uh, the connection at e prime, this is given by um, uh, one tensor d e. Okay, so uh, e prime has the same derivative as, as e. So somehow, uh, for example, e t times e prime minus one will be a constant, uh, and delta log. E prime is e prime minus one d. Okay, so this, uh, so, so this is a modular connection, and uh, th this isomorphism this isomorphism will be induced by. Uh, so we check easily that there is a map. Of uh, modules with a table connection now on on, on this, uh, which uh, given by sending e prime to one and log of e prime to zero. Okay, so um, so th th this induces this isomorphism here. And the uh, the other case I want to discuss is even simpler. The case uh, case two. Uh, this is uh, the case of x going to e1. Again, this is spec a, spec uh, k, d e minus one, and here the the l that that uh, that works. Uh, so it's l one zero. This is given by just just the, the usual log algebra. Very simple. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, so it's really just a, a direct proof uh, gives this lemma. But somehow the reason I, w I wanted to introduce these objects in this in this maybe complicated way is uh, because then it, it, it is clear that, that they have uh, some uh, interesting functoriality, um, and. Um, if, um, for example, uh, you see that that uh, the, the, this all LRM is really some kind of a, of a pre-sheaf, uh, or get, get, get uh, yeah pre-sheaf with value in in mic log when I le let R and M vary and I take for example these um, these maps that are, that are, uh, that are 
induced by uh, partial diagonals uh, and so on. Okay, so because of this uh, kind of universal property, it makes it clear that, that you have uh, that this module has some um, nice uh, functionality. Okay, so with this, uh, I can continue now. So, um, So I, I want to define, remember, I want to define this. Um, so I can I try to keep this formula here. So I, my goal is to define, my first goal is to define this uh, N here. And so N it will be essentially obtained from, from this L by, by some very simple procedure. Okay, so let, let me explain this now. So, uh, so we know um, the schemes. E bar R plus N with the obvious stratification. Okay, so this, uh, so mm, P1 uh, is given with stratification where the strata are zero, infinity, and uh, the, the complement of these. And this induces stratification on the on the product on the like this. So if you have a, if you if you have a strata stratum so every stratum like this um, is isomorphic is canonically isomorphic to uh, to e without a bar for some uh, smaller uh, Tuple L prime and the smaller integer M prime. Okay, this is clear. And so on here, so over over that I have my 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 thing I just introduced, and I set uh, maybe n of the stratum C to be just this guy. Right, so I, I use uh, this module, um, and I give it an, another name, but it's really the same. It's just again, it's a logarithmic algebra, um, and now it's, it lives on on the stratum. Modulus is isomorphism. And this can be extended to uh, to, f to flags also. So similarly, so if or if, if C underline so C0, Cn is a flag in this, this thing here, then, then this M, uh, M circ uh, E R plus, plus M, so this thing that I, I introduced before, in this very simple situation, uh, so this is isomorphic to the largest stratum, Cn, and therefore uh, I, I can I can uh, think about this uh, um, n uh, n c. So this is here. Here I have my uh, n r m c. This guy. When I think about it as, as a module over that thing, I, I denote this by. Okay, so this is just just change of notation. It's really the same object uh, all the time. But when I do this, I, I get so then then the, the association C to this guy uh, is what I call a small flaggy sheaf with values. In Nick Cirque. Okay, so it's it's value in this in this uh, in this two functor, but but restricted to to uh, to to just one object to to to, to the to this uh, to the stratified scheme uh, e bar r plus n. Okay, so we have this very simple construction. 
Uh, and in fact, this n is essentially that, except that you have to pull it back to a larger category. So I, I, exp I explain this now. We are almost done with this, with this guy here. So the details are not so important. So if you are a bit lost, it's not maybe a, it's not a big deal. I, I just wanted to give it to give this, and then we can speak about this without without really knowing what it is. Yeah. We don't really need to keep the definition in mind. But okay. So. Okay. So. We can now define uh, if you want the big plug it sheaf n that, uh, that I uh, that I need uh, to make sense of this formula. So yeah, it's very simple. I, I essentially just need to tell you on which category this is, this lives. So I, d I denote by regular uh, stratification E bar R plus M. This is just category of uh, regularly stratified smooth schemes uh, with with a stratified map to E bar R plus M. Okay. Uh, before I was looking at smooth stratified things over a field, uh, I refrain to, to write smooth here because smooth over something means a smooth morphism. And here it's really just the target which is smooth, but the morphism is really arbitrary. It's just a stratified morphism to, to that thing. So this is this is my category, um, and um, you see whenever I have an object here uh, and a flag. So the stratification you define it before is, is a, uh, of e bar r plus m is is what? So uh, each so e bar is just a product of p ones. And on, on each p1, you take the, the stratification given by the point zero, infinity, and the complement. Okay. All right. So if I take uh, an object there and 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 the flag, I can uh, I can map this flag into a flag C underline in here. And then I, I have an induced map on the normal cones. Uh, here I have my uh, n and c which lives here, and like I just uh, take its pullback, pullback along this map and get what I call n. Rm, the underline. Okay, and so uh, fact or uh, that is association D is a flag of pre sheaf with values in make circ Compose with M plus. Okay, and this is exactly the the thing which is here. Okay, so then I, I can pass to uh, to cohomology or, or derive double sections, uh, apply this thing that I still need to define, and then apply Godman resolution, uh, and then push push forward everything, and this will be my P. Okay, so I still need to uh, to tell you what is this guy. So this is very simple.
Okay, so sigma t infinity tilde. So is is a version of the infinite suspension. Functor, but you see, um, it's it's not on uh, complexes of pre-sheaf. It should operate on uh, f uh, f uh, complexes of flaggy pre-sheaf. Okay, so that operates on complexes flaggy pre -sheaves. Okay, so more precisely. If you have a f, uh, if you have f a flaggy receive, uh, so this guy is given like this. So yeah. so it's a, it's a tensor product of flaggy receive and uh, uh, with one particular object. Uh, Okay, so where is as follow? So I just write this in, into a lemma. So uh, there exists uh, a pre sheaf or star tilde which lives on a smooth stratified scheme with. Uh, tangential map, uh, so s sending x, which is stratified um, and, and, and smooth, to simply O star of of x zero, x zero. Okay, so uh, you have a stratified scheme, and you you just look at function, which but but not on x, rather on the open stratum, and it turns out that this is a well-defined pre-sheaf on smooth uh, stratified scheme, but uh, of course you need to to take tangential map between them, not not usual map, otherwise it will not work. Uh, and so, so this is an easy exercise. And then uh, th this guy here really is uh, the thing that I'm using here is is that thing, but composed with uh, maybe just like this. Sorry. That is restricted to T on smooth varieties. No, because this is this is so so T is not O star. Uh, it's equivalent to O star. So if you remember, uh, okay, I mean it depends on on choices, but my choice of T is uh, rather something like the free um, the free uh, uh, pre sheaf on this pre sheaf of sets. So, uh, so the multiplication is not the multiplication of function, but but rather the formal addition. So, so you want this thing to be a T spectrum, huh? right? But but uh, yeah. So if, if you are a spectrum for O star, you are a T spectrum, because you have a map to O star. So if you have a, if you have a multiplication by O star, you have a T spectrum also. So it's it's kind of uh, yeah. So. But uh, uh, why is it? What about tensor in skew? How does it affect? O star is. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, everything is tensor with skew, so I'm, I'm working up to torsion. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so O star is already O star tensor with skew, yes. Yeah. Uh, but you've not written this. You've written O star. Right, but I mean f f is a q is a q valued pre sheaf, so it doesn't f has value with q. On, on Q vector space, so I can tensor, and this will be again, okay. All right. So the uh, yeah, uh, pre sheaf O star. Mm, yeah. Okay. So so this is really uh, yeah. Uh, my O tilde is really O star can composed with M plus. With M plus. Okay. This is the O star which is here. So this is again, it's a uh, it's a flaggy pre sheaf. Uh, and so it makes sense. It makes sense to tense to, to, to speak about uh, to tensor it with, with that thing up there, uh, and then take the Goldman resolution and then uh, push everything to the point after taking a Feynman replacement. Okay. So this is this is this is a new this is a second new model for omega. 
I think I still have a few minutes. I would like to uh, to try uh, to see if it's possible to uh, to repeat this uh, this Hodge theoretic argument uh, using this uh, this model uh, of, of, of omega and see what 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 are the difficulties in. Um, so maybe I can can maybe um, erase this. It's okay. All right, so, so when, we, when we start to think about this, we see one immediate problem is that uh, uh, this guy cannot be a priori enriched with, uh, uh, with the structure of a variation of mix, mixed host structure. Um, so, if you, uh, so here's the first problem. Cannot be. Variation of mixed mixed host structure. Uh, so, in, in, the, in the in the case of uh, mm, of a complex of pre sheaves so the effective case, I had here one, and one was obviously uh, endowed with such a structure. But here n is uh, even if it's very simple. Um, in fact, one can show that it doesn't have. Uh, I mean, e, e, so e, if you, if you fix, um, I mean. If if you fix the flag, if you, if you fix everything, each uh, single uh, module with interval connection, I mean, uh, has actually many, uh, many ways of uh, m m many, many structure of uh, uh, of VMHS, but you cannot uh, find one which would be compatible with with all the other by, uh, via the, the the map between them. I hope this is clear. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I I each one is just a logarithmic sheaf, lo logarithmic module, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's very easy to put uh, such a structure on, on one of them. But if you want to put a st uh, structure on, on all of them in, in a compatible way, then, then, then the, this, this will not be possible. You mean this is because uh, the exponents are defined on the integer sums? The, ox the exponent? Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's because of... Okay, uh, so it's because of the, of the f okay, I, I can try to say, say a bit more. So uh, you see that there are these maps, uh, P1 delta, so that there are two maps, uh, 0 and 1. Mm, so maybe this is, uh, okay, so this is over, over A1. So here you have your, uh, you have L, uh, well, I think it was something like uh, one zero, and here you have L uh, one or, or L empty one, if you remember. The, so bo both of them are very simple logarithmic sheaves. But this is not canonical. So this this, this had uh, this had lo lo lot of constant in fact, um, and uh, so so it, um, yeah. And so so th these two map will will will, uh, will give you. Uh, two map from here to here, or rather from the pullback to here, um, and these two map are are in fact different. And I think its problem is that it uh, one one will mm, uh, let me see uh, is this in 
What are the maps from E1 to X? So, so this is uh, over 0 and 1. So the, the, the fiber, so this is delta. Um, so the fiber at 0 and 1, they are copies of P1, and, and they, they, they map. Uh, so this is, uh, this is sent, so here you have the variable t, and it is sent to 0 and 1. Um, and uh, what is E1? E1 delta, is it E1 was, was supposed to be at the? This is GM. A1 minus 0. OK, and now does it map to 0, 1? Uh, um, this is spec k, projection to, to the point. Projection to the point. But you put two of them, 0 and 1. <laughs> OK, sorry. <laughs> spec k. Yes, so there the, the, the are two maps here. It's not a commutative diagram, but it's <laughs> all right. So I, I think, th yeah, th uh, if I remember correctly, the problem would comes from the fact that, that the log is sometimes sent to 0 and sometimes set to 1. And, um, and, but, but the log has, has, weight, uh, has weight 2 so as, as, as an element. And so th there will be a problem uh, uh, because of this. What is the x here? What is x is, this is this spectrum of k t e e minus 1 with this uh, d e minus or d t minus okay. all right uh, so this is this is a problem but one can uh, try to go a bit further uh, around this as, as follow so remember uh, n is really uh, is defined over uh, over uh, over this E. So w w one can do the following. So if you have, if I fix uh, X and D uh, as before, and I, I look at this, make, make a, uh, sorry, I, I look at this projection, M plus X underline D, M plus where C is uh, the flag, which is the image of D. Uh, so what I did, I, so I, I had my, my uh, N and C here, and I pull it back here. Okay, so this was the way I, I, I constructed my D. And then I, I, I'm doing, again, a push forward. Um, um, I'm doing, a, uh, uh, yeah, I'm taking a global section again. Um, but uh, so you see, well, uh, there is this projection. There is a project projection formula. So if you take something which is, which is here, put it back, and then take the global section, is like first pushing forward, tensoring with this object, and then and taking uh, uh, global section again. Okay? A simple projection formula. So by, by doing this, we can re rewrite this uh, in a slightly different way. So I need to introduce some notation because uh, unfortunately, I mean it's very simple, but I need to introduce some notation. Um, to write it down, so uh, I, I denote uh, make uh, with a tilde, uh, singular, of uh, x. Uh, what? Let me just. Yeah, I think I want to I want to write like this. So I, I define this to be make regular singular of of this quotient there. So of this. Uh, Yeah, so, uh, for X D as before, I, I just define a, a new category, uh, which is the model uh, module, but over the, over this uh, this uh, thing, which is just the power of G M. It's really uh, very stupid. Um, th 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 there is a functor, which is uh, yeah, I call this let's call it P lower star from the thing that I was working with before. Okay, um, and with this, I can now uh, write this uh, contribution in a slightly different manner. Uh, again, it's the same the same object as before. A direct image, Godman complex, uh, also an infinite suspension, uh, or gamma delta. But now it's a gamma delta over. Uh, over these kind of objects. 
uh, and then of n r m answered with p lower star or r p lower star of one. Okay, this is just a projection formula. Applied, uh, applied here, uh, um, applied for yeah, with this, with this, with this thing. And now the thing is that this guy has a Hodge, has a mixed Hodge structure. This has uh, a structure of a variation, admissible variation on structures. In fact, a very simple one because we are still working over a pro pro product of GM. So this is again just. Uh, essentially, a, a, a logarithmic sheaf, very simple. But we have this formula, and we, we could try to. So, so the idea is that uh, try to get rid of this uh, part here using a variant of the Hodge theoretical. Now this is a, a slightly different situation than, than before, uh, so maybe let me remind you. So, uh, so in the case of uh, of P one, which was uh, which was a model uh, for uh, for the DRAM complex, not, not the DRAM spectrum. Uh, so we 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 were working. So we, we had to. So we used uh, the weight filtration. Uh, in the category of mix, of mix host, mixed uh, Hodge structure. Right? So we, uh, we were working somehow uh, uh, o o over the point, and uh, it was enough to, uh, to to construct this uh, this morphism from from omega to the to the constant sheaf. Uh, so here it, it won't be enough because mm, so I, I I don't I cannot get. Um, uh, Mix our structure on the point because if I if I do if I uh, if I do this I would have to tensor with uh, n R M and then take a global section and and this will destroy uh, this this structure here so I really have to uh, to consider this uh, the thing here as a um, uh, as an object and then uh, and work on it b before applying this operation uh, and and this forced me to work uh, over with variation of mix structure. Uh, over uh, s some power of GM, so something like okay. So on. Mm. okay. So uh, yeah. So so we, we need to adapt the argument. Uh, to uh, to variation of mixed of structure on a basis like just just the power of uh, of some of some GN. So a priori very simple, but um, yeah, um, yeah. So 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 there are many. So so there are problems here. So for example. Uh, uh, we don't have any more anisomorphism between uh, the, the the RAM uh, uh, component uh, composed with, with the graded for the weight filtration and, and the DRAM component. Uh, no such isomorphism over a base. 
Um, but somehow that there is there is a way to uh, to get rid of I mean to, to there is an argument which which would work, uh, but it will it will it work somehow uh, only uh, when the base is um, is fixed. So um, so if if these integers of these uh, data are fixed, then th there is a way to. to adapt the argument. So somehow, w w working over finitely many bases, uh, one, one can uh, still do something. Uh, the problem comes when you want to, to, to let the, the base, uh, um, or the, the, the dimension of the base um, being uh, as big as, uh, as necessary. Um, so we, then, then, yeah, so problems uh, appears when here, when, when the dimension of the basis is unbounded. Or unbounded. Okay, so, mm. so in some sense, this is a problem of, uh, of commuting. So you see, uh, we, we, uh, uh, m m my p uh, double is, is just is, is a, is a homotopy colimit over Rn. And I'm, I'm just telling you that uh, I, I can work with, with, with each, each one um, alone. That, that there is a way to, to adapt the argument, but there is no way to, to, to do this for, for the whole thing. So in fact, it's, it's somehow we are like l lacking a commutation between homotopy limit and homotopy co-limit. Which is essentially, uh, which is somehow the essential problem again. Okay. All right, so uh, I, I, I could go a bit more in detail, but somehow my time is up today. So, I, um, so in, the, in the next lecture, what I will try to do, I will try to, again, go back to this argument, make it a bit more precise, um, and uh, introduce the third model, which is somehow uh, de um, de designed somehow, or, or, or ha has some feature, which, which makes this argument that, 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 that is here is completely useless, make it at least mo um, um, more useful. Um, Right, so f f with the third model, one can somehow go a step, a step forward uh, using the Hirsch theoretic argument, and and then I can explain to you uh, wh wh what is the actual gap in the proof, uh, and then uh, then maybe also in the, uh, in the next lecture I will propose uh, a conjectural statement which would be somehow uh, enough to. Uh, uh, somehow enough to, uh, to, to, to repair the gap or somehow to, to completely avoid the gap in some sense. Okay, I, th I think I, 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 maybe it's a good time to stop here today.